What's up guys, it's Steven and welcome back to my LEGO YouTube channel, BrickMine. Today I wanted to show you how to make a LEGO Mills road plate with the new road plate system that LEGO just released last year. This one I've done a little bit of accessory work on the sides and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. The first thing you're going to need to do is obviously get a Mills plate. If you don't know how to build one, I'll go ahead and link it in the top corner there. You can go ahead and click that and you can watch the video on how to build the Mills plate and then come back to this video after you're done with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Mills plate and we're going to take this road plate. So we have two sections here from the new road plates and we're just going to go ahead and put this thing right in the middle of this. So here you can see we have a Mills plate with two sections of the new road plates attached to it. From this point, if you're kind of like me, your mind is probably getting pretty creative about what you can do. There's a whole lot of things that you can do, so don't just limit yourself to what I'm going to show you today. What I'm going to show you today is really, really cool, and it's very nice, but there are so many different ways that people do these. So you guys can be creative and kind of do some research so you can kind of see what you want to do before you get to this step. The next thing that I do is that I actually want to expand the road one stud on each side so two studs total in fact i actually wish that these road plates just would have came standard like that but this is the standard because it fits on a half base plate so it actually gives you multiple options for that i have some on half base plates as well that's rather nice as well you just need to raise it up a plate and it actually works very very well integrated with a mill system so after you're done with that, you're basically just going to want to cover this in dark stone gray tile. I'm running a little bit close shop here with my dark stone gray, so just kind of bear with me. But you can use any size pieces of tile that you want, and it'll fill in here just nicely. So this is what you're going to have after you're done. Obviously, like I said, you can use any part of tile that you want, any size tile that you want to cover this thing up. But this is basically what you're going to do. This is the dark stone gray kind. I've done this uh, in a different way here with a white strip here. I like this as well. I didn't do it on the other side because I wanted to kind of show uh, the different styles there. And this one here is kind of like a seven stud wide. And this one here is kind of like six stud wide, but obviously they can kind of drive on that white line. But it's really your preference what you want to do. Obviously, you can expand that even just one more stud over if you wanted to do that. Then that way you could actually have seven studs over here and then you can put the white line as the eighth stud. You could do that as well. You just have one less stud over here on your sidewalk which really isn't that big of a deal like i said it's all up to you and your creative preference the next thing that we're going to do is actually put a curb on this thing so i've got an assortment of lightstone gray brick over here and then an assortment of lightstone gray tile as well we're just going to be attaching these things all the way along the same way that i've done over here on the right side where we just kind of create a line over here and create the curb and there you have it there's a nice smooth curb on both sides of the road there that's very nice it's a pretty good height as well because we're going to add a tile over here for the walkways now there's another cool thing that I do for the uh, curb as well and that's the sewer drainage right there so you can use one of these vents as a drain and another cool thing that I do is actually substitute this piece under here so you can actually make that a black piece instead of uh, the gray brick that we used so then it looks like there's basically the absence of you know it's just darkness there so it actually looks like a drain that's really cool and I do that on both sides very simple now basically after this step everything's up to you you can really be creative with what you want to put here the only reason that I did some cool stuff on this one here was just to show you some different ideas so I have a bench we have some newspaper stands you know trash cans recycle bins flower pots those are very nice you know I just put in a two by six brown in there and then some surrounded that with some tile to create the wooden uh, kind of paneling around that very simple here we have the sewer system from this tile is a sticker piece and this is from the daily bugle so uh, we just attached this thing here it was very simple it's not very simple to pull off but basically all that is is just a two by two plate under there and then we have one by two tile that just kind of makes this look like uh, one of these two by four tiles when uh, this a uh, little round tile is put on there. It's very nice, but it's got that sticker that says New York Sewer. I'm going to have to get some more of these because I do have a plan for kind of like a Manhattan area in my Lego city. But you can see on the bottom of it, it's got these little four circles. So you can just kind of put that in uh, and it fits very nicely. And uh, the cars just drive right over it. So now you're just going to want to tile off your sidewalk and you can use an assortment of jumpers to kind of create spots that minifigures can stand, right? As you can see, we can have a minifigure stand there. I actually like to use these one by twos. This combination here works better for me because I can actually put people in more different positions uh, if I use the combination of one by twos than if I use the combination of 
uh, two by two jumpers, as you can see. If I do it like this, then I can have a minifigure kind of stand off to the side, right? So we could put another one over here. You can kind of do four different versions of that uh, to create kind of some staggering and a little bit more character to your minifigures just by changing the jumpers a little bit. And just like that, you add in all the details that you want and you are left with a really nice Mills road plate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more great LEGO content coming real soon. I will be continuing this how-to process as I do rebuild my LEGO city. We're changing things over into the Mills system and I'm doing a lot more customization going on. So if you want to see that progress, you can stop by on a Saturday. We do LEGO city updates every single week on Saturday. And stay tuned for some more great stuff as we progress through the rebuilding process of our LEGO city. I appreciate it guys and I hope to see you on the next video. Have yourselves a great day.